Yeah, I know I was joking, but yeah. You saw it too? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the clap is always there. I learned that shit from immersion, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing claps all the time. Get this here. Alright, you can see about you can see us both? It's good? Yeah. Alright, what's up everyone? Dr. Testosterone here for our next mastermind with BBC. What up, though? What up, what up? <laughs> Big Brent Carter here. We are in a car. There's a high speed chase. There's a bunch of cops behind us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't even tripping. <laughs> yo, dude, yo, dude, it's a low cortisol. Low cortisol. You, know, you gotta keep the cortisol low. Testosterone can be high, but cortisol has gotta be low. Yeah, That's yeah, what we got. You gotta keep the cortisol low. <laughs> So, first of all, thanks a lot, man. No thanks problem, a lot for, for being here. My pleasure. Uh, this is going to be one of our greatest masterminds in the series. I believe. Let's get started, man. <laughs> Let's get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is going to be about testosterone, girls, dating, mm. sex, business, marketing, everything. Let's yeah. give them everything. Who's going to see this? This is going to be people who got the bulging package. The bulging package. All right, cool. cool Only cool. them. The bulging package. All right, cool. All right, cool, Google. So I don't, bulging I, package, I don't people. Know All right. Yo, so I can say crazy shit. Dude, yeah. The, nice. this, is, the, this is our VIPs. These are the cool kids. You, they got everything. Yeah, these so, are the real motherfuckers. All right, cool, cool. So let's get started with, if you had to give one story or one takeaway of your life, what will you say? What do you say? It's pertaining, people, pertaining to what? Your life, man. How, focusing on health, though. Okay. Yeah. Focusing on health. Yeah. Some turning point that happened or something that when people hear it, they say, oh, that makes sense. That's why he's doing what he's doing. Mm. That's why he's helping so many people. I got you. I start. I own a supplement company, <laughs> Pro Laboratories, right? And the, the story started, I don't know if I've ever shared this publicly. So this is exclusive content, right? I I was taking this one fat burner, and it was it was working. But I, I, I was taking it, a, I, you know, I was taking it, you know, whatever. Just maybe I was abusing it a little bit too, and mm. and I just went to a checkup. I just went to check up for a doctor, you know, regular shit. And she was like, "Holy shit, your blood pressure is high as fuck." And and they they she wanted me to put me on like blood pressure pills. And I was like, oh, shit. Then I went back out. I went. I said, you know, I didn't second opinion. I got the same shit. So then I was like, all right, I'm not going to take blood pressure pills. I'm just going to work on my health. You know, like just, you know, start. I started doing even like more cardio. Stop taking. I started looking for natural alternatives, you know, like or healthier alternatives than what I was saying. So I found out the green tea extract. And, mm. a lot of, and, and that's and I'm like, hmm. Nice. Okay. And then and some other ingredients that, that were like more nat- natural that, that, that wouldn't give me the side effects. And that's when I and I was like, man, if I put this together, this would be a cool supplement. Nice. And that's how, like, it was really just some shit that I wanted to take that would help me stay ripped, but not have the the negative health effects that I was experiencing. You know, because uh, cool. the, the high blood pressure runs in my family. So that's how my company started. It was just some shit. I was like, yo, it's some shit I want, and I can probably sell it to other motherfuckers. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know how that pertains to testosterone. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> well, everything does. This does too somehow. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. man, my testosterone is like, I, I do things to, it's always been kind of high, I think. You know, like I I, 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 I speculate that's why I'm bald. Mm. Or does that have anything to do with it? Is it comfortable? It, so, so, it's an interesting question. A lot of people ask about this. So, testosterone gets converted into dihydrotestosterone, mm-hmm. DHT. And that conversion is what causes baldness. Okay. Now, a lot of people, that conversion is not happening. Mm. It's happening less. It's happening so less. So then there's no baldness. But, right. I mean, the correlation is there. It's not It's not it doesn't so mean, direct. It doesn't mean if you have high testosterone, you're going to get yeah. bald. It's, it's like a curve like anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, but I, I speculate. That's why the coolest, mo- some of the coolest motherfuckers of all, you know. For real? Bruce yeah. Willis, The Rock, Buddha, <laughs> Young Jeezy, Gandhi. Gandhi, our boy. Brandon Carter. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. You know, a lot of cool motherfuckers is bald. Jordan, Pac. I, I, I could have just said Jordan and Pac, and we could have ended it, you know? So, <laughs> But anyway, uh, my shit was like, I got my shit tested, um, like, like not long ago. And my shit was like close to eight, you know? I was like 31, 32. I'm 33 now. That's that's high. For real, yeah. That's, that's high, yeah, man. Yeah. And, and I think it's always been high, man. When I was... 
<laughs> I do things to, to take it to the next level. Like yeah. I, a lot of like yeah, I eat um, I heard almonds were good. I just research yeah. almonds. Yeah, yeah. Sleep eight to nine hours of sleep. I, I try to get in, but it, I think when I was younger it was like too hot. Mm, like I was horny mm. in a motherfucker, man. I, could, I remember, I, yo, I used to fuck like, like I went to uh, college with like it was like twelve girls to every guy, and that's not counting. Which like, college is that? Howard University. I went nice. there for that reason. I got accepted to DePaul University. I Chicago, wanted, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted yeah, to go to. Yeah, that's a great school. Mm. And I was like, man. Yeah, my cousins went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then at the last minute, man, my, my my cousin was telling me, man, yo, you know, there's twelve girls every guy here, and I was like, and he's like, that's not even counting like the gay dude, the gay and the fat dudes. And the chodes and the losers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like you're, you're gonna get it even. So I'm like, all right, bam, that's the decision. That's how I made my my college decision. So no kids, doubt. if you no doubt. find out the ratio of niggas to bitches at your college, <laughs> for real, <laughs> that's how you make the decision. And um, I, but yo, I was so I would fuck like three, like two, three girls a day, man. You know, like it wouldn't be like new girls. Like I, they would be in a rotation. Mm. You know, like whoever I slept with last night, I fuck her in the morning. Fuck a different chick at lunch And then like it, Cause I was like It was the point It was consuming me though It wasn't like Not no good thing mm. I couldn't control it Like mm. I think it was like Maybe this is the Maybe I'm trying to get therapy right now But I couldn't control it You know And uh I remember one that, Here's a turning point I was grabbing, I was fucked this chick earlier And then like I, And I went to school Or whatever And, then, and I was driving I was, I was about to fuck another chick man For whatever reason I, I stopped I was driving I stopped at this convenience store to get some Red Bull, <laughs> cause I'm out the for her. <laughs> <laughs> to get some Red Red Bull and Magnums. I used to always get that shit. Cause it was funny to me. The Magnum comes out because I, I, I would like put it down and then stare at the chick in the eye who I'm buying it. As I put it down, I wouldn't say nothing. I just look at her. <laughs> this self, I think you guys call that self amusement. For real. I went in and just. Anyway, but then. I also, but this time, or whatever he's, man, I, I bought some fucking porn, too, man. And I was like, I don't know why, because I was a fucking sex addict, I guess. And <laughs> you horny motherfuckers get related to this shit. And, and I, I motherfucking, I, I, was, I was beating off driving. I, I was in an SUV, so I was like, higher, so I feel like I get away with it. I'm beating off driving a stick. And I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking stick. I'm doing two stick. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, man, you know, I got it. I started like, so what I did was, to, to, I'm like, man, this is, I can't get anything accomplished, man. I, I started smoking myself, retarded. I, I was like, I'm gonna smoke. I just started smoking weed all day, every day to like calm myself, mm. like I tranquilize myself. Okay, that's crazy. Okay. Self medication. Huh. And that's done. And then I kind of got past it a little. I mean, it still, it still, it still creeps up. Mm. You know, it's this, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know what it is. But it's not as bad Like that I think the weed Kind of cured me a little <laughs> Does weed lower Medical. testosterone? Depends Depends mm. on the person Depends and, on the person And, 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 and me it increases it Ah uh, Yeah 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 I, put, I get I get really like Really? Yeah, really horny yeah Damn Yeah, yeah so me It was uh, like It made me like Just it just I just smoked myself Like a tranquilizer man It wasn't even like I wanted to be high all the time It's just like I needed to calm down Alright alright So I don't know I don't know what that means, you know, but it was, I thought it was a cool story. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool story, man. So wait, so, so then, if you're if you're BBC, right, and you're going around, that's it. Like girls just come to you. What's going on? Uh, it's not that, that's, that's game. Or that, that that's your game. What girls just you, come you to you being you. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm good at game though. Like, and, and uh. I, and it was there was a time I thought I, I might have been good, but first of all, I just think the bar is low. Like, so like I I, I just maybe I'm not I, I will approach, you know, like, but I don't know. If, I think the bar is low, right? So just like, just just approaching already puts you ahead of most uh, motherfuckers, right? Okay. And, and when I started being cool with like you you guys from RSD, then I kind of realized, oh wait a minute, I suck at this. I suck at this. I remember I, I was doing, uh, I was shooting infield with Todd. Right, right, right. And, um, in New York. And, yo, man, awful. I, I really realized, man, I'm, I'm bad at this, man. I'm bad at this. Or, like, just, I was hanging out with, uh, uh, Derek last night. And right. just the, the ease of his approach. Like, he, he walked, he went from one set and, like, he just walked into another set with guy, guys in the set. Right, right, right. And he did it like, I thought he knew the chick initially. Was, oh. He did it so effortlessly. Right. I was like, man, that's another that's another level. 
that's another level. Like I, that's another level. But what? But what is it? Because you, you, if you know, at one point in life, and and maybe even now, you're yeah. fucking two, three girls a day. Right, right. But then you see a real hot girl at the mall or at the coffee shop. You want to go talk to her. Yeah. Do you get some kind of like? Anxiety I do. I do, or, man. I get, how, I, how does it I, work? Get it. I, I, I feel the approach anxiety. I, I get nervous, man. Like doing all types of shit. You know, like I get nervous. I got nervous speech. I got, I got nervous for the speech. I get nervous before. Mm. Uh, yeah, I get nervous all the time, man. Like I don't. I don't think it's. Um, I just do it anyway, though. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, right? Because yeah. you could have. We all have fear. Fear mm. is like a. If you don't have fear, you're a sociopath. You, you right. better have fear. But then. You overcome the fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. I'm, okay. I, I think the way. Interesting. Okay. Is, okay. So there's a different. I think. Yeah. There's a difference between you know, conf, if you're confident, hmm. then if you like, okay, for instance, uh, if you, if I, I gave the example before, but it, it's it pertains to this. If my if I go swim for a mile in the ocean or some shit, okay, right, that might it, I'd be nervous. It'll take me like courage to do that. I would need to be courageous, right? Cause, That's cause right. I'm nervous. But if Michael Phelps does it, he doesn't need to be courageous because he's built a skill set. He's got gotcha. confidence in that area. Like, so there's some shit I'll do. Like I like it may scare another motherfucker. You it's like nothing to me. Like it's like almost like like nothing to me. But it might, scare, but just because I I built I have competency right, in that right, arena. Right. I got you. I and got you. Uh, other motherfuckers, I think I I, I get I've gotten girls despite my game, right? But it's the fact that I I approach right, like right. I I still do it. But I, it seems like like what I saw like when Derek or or, or the, the RSD guys, you know, like the, it, you know, they've been doing this shit for over a decade, so it's a, for real. It, it's different. That's a, that's that's they have competency there, so they just I don't think it. It's like Michael Sw- Phelps swimming, man. You know, mm. they've been doing that shit for so long, like. Yeah, yeah, it's it just builds the muscle. Yeah, yeah, the just, brain muscle. I, think, I got you. I, think, I got you. Right. I don't really, you know. I got you. Yeah. So, but back in the day, let's say yeah, twenty yeah. years ago, yeah. right? Ten years ago, twenty years ago, you weren't as ripped. You weren't. You know, no, you went through no. a crazy transformation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to become what you are. What do you see different about you? Like, what do people say mm. after this transformation? I'm not really around those same people. Oh, okay. You know, like, because uh, they're regular people, man. Regular people do regular shit. And, you know, I'm not, I'm never doing regular shit. Okay. So, like, I'm not around regular people, right? Like, I'm, my friend, you know, my friends are elite or at least trying to be elite. And mm. the people who weren't trying to be elite then aren't trying to be elite now. So, we're not in the same circles. We're not in the same, we're not doing the same shit. We're not, you know, like, we're not going, like, like, say the guy who bought this, this course. Yeah. This guy wants to take his life to the next level. He, like he's serious about it, right? So mm. that's not some regular shit. No, no. Right? So regular no. people wouldn't do this. No. He's gonna, you know, like. So I, I'm not around those people anymore. Like I don't, I don't know what, I don't know or care about their thoughts. Like, I if we talk, I had a conversation, we probably wouldn't. Like a lot of those, my friends from back then. Like if I do talk, I can't. Even, we can't even bond. Wow. Right, because I'm doing so. I'm doing other. Oh, yeah, I'm flying here. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I got a fucking. Oh, I just got an office in Manhattan. Thirty six. The guys I grew up with in Chicago on the South Side. The motherfuckers. I mean, it, a lot of them are dead or in jail, or the ones who are not. They can't understand that. You know, you can't, can't relate. relate. That happened. They can't relate to you. You can't relate they to can't them. Can't relate to me, man. Like, like I got like like my friends now are like you, Elliot. You know, Owen. You know what I'm saying? Like you, my you know next level shit, man. I got friends. Who make like 150 grand a month for real personal yeah. income, right? Like, yeah. and like we we talk about how to build that. Like, that's regular motherfuckers. I mean, people from back then, we, we don't have no, I don't, I don't, I, mm, yeah, I got you. I'm not around them. Yeah, speaking of money, you know, we, this is, yeah, this is money, topic, right? Uh, you recently wrote a book, Money to Blow. Money to Blow. Uh, Yo, really- ultimate guide to financial freedom in. And balling hard as fuck. Yeah, because a lot of the guys that are listening, they're not just... I mean, they're, they, testosterone is one part of their life. Mm-hmm. They're trying to increase it. They're trying to boost it. They're trying to become more manly, mm-hmm. increase their, their masculinity, yeah, they are. And, and get better with women. But a big part of that is also winning yeah, in life. Winning, man. Winning. And money is part of winning. I look at it like 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 a score, like a scorecard, man. Mm-hmm. Like, almost like... Like some people, like some kids, like to play video games, yeah. right? And, and whatever, you know, do your thing. Uh, but I don't get 
the enjoyment out of that. Yeah. Like, like I, I look at my bank account. Like the video, like, like the video game I play. Yeah, I want to, yeah, I want to put some points on that board. For real. And like, cause if I make, if I make like, if like I make like uh, the other day I did something, you know, I did this thing and I made like uh, twenty five hundred dollars, right, in one day, right. And, then, and for some people, that's a lot of money, right. Mm-hmm. Me, I, I didn't feel it at all. I didn't even feel it, right. Like I can make. Like if if, if if you gave me a hundred grand right now, I would not feel it, you know. Like, right. but I'd be happy, yeah. Right. But so it's not, so it's not about the money. It's about winning, man. Mm. I'm not. I'm trying to win, man. I'm trying to motherfucking win. And like you said, you, I, I got. The, I want that book you told me to get last time. The winning effect. The for winning real. Effect. For yeah, real. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, I, I, and it, what you, so what it was saying was saying that yeah, you get addicted to winning. Yeah. I'm addicted to winning. I just want to win. I just want to win. I want the people around me. That's why I only want to fuck with winners. I only because like you become like the people you're around. Yeah. If motherfuckers like and you know and that's one of the forty laws of power. Avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. Stay away from them motherfuckers, man. Wow. Stay away from them motherfuckers because you become like. Listen, I want to. I want to ride with the winner. You got. You gonna ride with the winners or you gonna lay with the losers? <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, man. And. Have you had to draw boundaries, like big fucking boundaries with people? Yeah. My all right. I I, I my dad told me this a long time. Huh. Yeah, man. He was You're like, close to your dad, huh? I was, man, yeah. until he fucking he shot himself in the head. Yeah. You know, he lost, man. He lost. He fucking lost. Yeah. You told yeah, me, like, you know, when we we're talking about being uh, sexually repressed as a kid and stuff, and your dad was real cool, man. Your dad, oh, he was your, cool as was, fuck. He, like I remember best dad ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he was like, he was like, we were like. More like brothers than we were like uh, it wasn't it wasn't really a, that kind of That's relationship great, like it was great. like I mean he, he had bound he drew boundaries mm-hmm. but I wasn't like but his boundary he's you know he's from where I'm from we grew up the same man and so like yeah yeah I know we got we, we, he's, he's cool as fuck you know but he, he he was one of those guys he came up like when I was in, we grew up poor but when there was a point like he hustled real hard and he like you know college, high school dropout. You know, prison. You know, what I'm saying all this shit. Then he, he came up and then he fucked it up, man. Like the point where he had made a lot of money, he fucked it up, and that's you know that's way you know. And so that's like a bad more to talk about bad role models. What I was saying. Oh, but when it was once when, when he had told me like, yo, this too tight. I was asking him once, man. Like it seemed like you don't have a lot of like close friends. It like you know, and he's like, yo, that's because there's two types of people, man. Is what he said. It's his eagles and his pigeons. Right, you see pigeons, you see a flock of them, you see a bunch of them, you know, they were running around. They gotta wait till they're waiting for motherfuckers to throw shit on the floor and they're eating crumbs and then they'll fight for crumbs. You ever see some pigeons yeah, fighting over yeah. some bread, fighting over some shit that's on the floor? But the eagles, man, you see them, man, they're not, you know, you don't really see a flock of eagles, right? You see them flying, they soar. Fuck yeah. When they want, when they want some eat, they fucking dive in a, into the string, pluck a fucking fish, a salmon. Mm. Out the ocean, man. I mean, or the river, or whatever. Take what they want. Yeah, yeah. They take, they go take what they want. They take another bird out the fucking sky. You don't see a lot of them. You don't see a fucking flock of eagles, or and they definitely not fighting over your scraps or waiting for you to throw some on the on the ground. And it seems like most people have are like pigeons. You know, they just like you see got people. Oh, they're all, you know, motherfuckers line up. You go to a job, line up for some mediocre jobs. That's what I see. I feel like I see the same shit or like compete. For average, like fight, I see people fighting for regular shit. It's like that's crazy. Like man. go for the go for the beach. You know, it's, when we were at immersion, we had a you know the Hakkasan nightclub, mm. right? So we had this thing where we would go to the lobby around four or five a.m. when the girls are coming out. The let out, yeah. You know, yeah. The, the, the girls aren't the girls that haven't been pulled yet, mm. right? So it's literally I would you know we would do this night after night after night, and then at one point towards the end of immersion. I was I would watch and I would kind of like t- take a step back. And I was like, let's think about what's going on here. It's like these we're all vultures, mm. right? And this like leftover the crumbs leftovers, yeah. that we're trying to get. We ain't eagles. Yeah, yeah, you're not going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? And what you said, my pigeons is totally relates to that. Man. Yeah, man. And that's one reason I left. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. I was like, man, I I don't want to be like a pigeon. Uh, I want to get my shit together. It's not a it ain't just about some you know I was talking about that in the speech too it's not just about like a game as people think right mm. like RSD is trying to teach people to be holistic to become a man in their prime exactly it, and it's not just oh yeah yeah just like fix your brain up yeah. so you can be better at approaching it's not that man it's a whole life I like I like the reason I I, 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 I 
like RSD. So then I, I'll do like any like yeah. I don't know if I've ever said no to Owen. And I don't mean that in like a, a weird way. It's just like I I I like There's no they, LMR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like what they're doing because it's like it's it's cause there was nothing like that when I was that age, you know, like there was nothing like that in two thousand, you know, or to, you know, early two thousands. And I'm just glad that there's something like, cause especially like a lot of personal development is some feel good gay shit, you know. I, I mean, I'm sorry, sorry, some feel good whack, you know, some some whack show shit, right? Like, and some faggot shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, me and Derek, some. Why do we say shit like that? I have nothing against the gays. Why do we talk like that? Not. I don't know. It's just weird. So anyway, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stop doing it, cause I, I, I don't want to. You know, I don't have nothing. What another motherfucker does with his dick has nothing to do with nah. me. You know. Nah. So anyway. Uh, yeah, it's like, like, so, it was, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's just some whack shit. It's just like, but this mm. is like personal development. It's really personal development. That's right. It's, about, it, it's about you. Yeah, it's about you. And it's just, they wrap it around something that a young guy can get excited about. You know, like, I'm not going to get excited. You know, I mean, I like Brian Tracy, right? Like, that was the like personal development guy I liked a lot when I right. was younger. And I like him, but he was fucking square. You know, he's not a cool motherfucker. I didn't want to hang out with him. I definitely didn't want to go to the club with Brian Tracy. No, no, no. I don't want to go to the club uh, with Tony Warren. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he wouldn't even fit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't want to kick it with these motherfuckers. It wasn't, right. I, I, I liked what they were saying, but I didn't feel them. You know, but like this RSD shit. Now this is this is some cool shit. Like I I I I, I, I do kick it with you. Like we do yeah. hang out. Like I I'll, I'll hang out with with Derek. Like Derek. Like every time we go to New York, we hang out, man. Julian's. Cool as fuck, Madison. Like these are motherfuckers. Fuck yeah, dude. I, every time I, I'm me and Owen are in the same same city, we go out to dinner and shit. Like we hang out. Like, like I these are this personal development motherfuckers who I I like, you know. Like, and mm -hmm. there's just nothing like that. There was nothing like that before. Or even awesome. Elliot. I feel like Elliot does personal development just from. I mean, I don't even feel like it. I know it from, but he does it from. He takes it from a, a different perspective, strength perspective, or like, right. and and that's important too. That's important. There was nothing like that when I was younger. There was nothing like Elliot when I was younger. It's like, I don't know. It, it was kind of like it. Uh, dude, dude, my, my role model was this dude named Bill Phillips. Okay. He, uh, he, he, was, he authored a book, a book called Body for Life. And he had a he owned a supplement company, EAS yeah, Sports Nutrition. They yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah I know they, about that. Body yeah, for Life. He, yeah, he had a challenge. Yeah, yeah, he had yeah, a yeah, challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I just basically copied everything he, he's ever done. Cool. You know, like, and he had a magazine. You know, uh, muscle media that it was all just selling his supplements, but still, it was good. And he was the only guy who, because like, he would write personal development shit in his magazine and his writings and shit. And I could, but he was still kind of a chode, you know, if you ever see him, you know, like he wasn't a cool motherfucker, mm. right? So it's just, there was nobody cool doing personal development. And I feel like our, you guys, our, the, our, our community, our, our right, circle right, was right, like, right. It's really guys who I consider cool. Some people might think we're all fags, right? But I consider <laughs> people who I resonate with, you know. Yeah, because a lot of the guys that watch this, you know, they are serious. They're not just serious, uh, yeah. oh, let me just watch some YouTube videos and become a baller. Yeah, uh, they're serious and they want to know what is it that they're missing. What do you think they're missing? You know, like they look. There's internet, right? They, these guys are waking up. They they go on their iPhone and check shit, check mm -hmm. messages. At night, they're checking their messages. They they understand social media. They're doing Instagram. Is there something, some like ritual or something you do, like a, some kind of like I don't want to call it a secret, like some some crazy voodoo shit. But what do you do in terms of rituals that get you going, kind of like hone in, and mm. focus in, and dominate? I listen to especially like when I'm. So you you, you especially when I'm. When I'm you you're familiar with state control? Like when I'm in a yeah. different kind of state, like I don't need to. Because sometimes, sometimes you know, I mean, shit happens to me too, man. You know, like it, yeah. shit's never going to stop happening. You're never going to stop. You're never, no matter how successful you are, you're going to be moments where you're low. You know, like you know, you got to get. But how I get out my my thing, like I listen, I I I put on like some really like the most gangster rap I can find, man. I want to hear about motherfuckers killing each other for money. Right, <laughs> that's what I want to hear about. Right, and and not and not because I want to do it. that, but it gets me like some about you know that the, the aggression. I think it fuels me. It gets me, mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah. I'm a, now I'm ready to go attack my circumstance, whatever it is that's fucking with me. You know, now I, I, I get I, I go on offense. 
You know what I'm saying? I like, I might, I might be feeling like a peak hard. in testosterone. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine there's something. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because I, I, I sit up, I start sitting up. Yeah, man. Young Jeezy's right. <laughs> I do need to go. I am. I, <laughs> I do need to go. I am a survivor. I'm a uh, soul survivor, as a matter of fact. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, like that's how, that's how, uh, like, it, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I, I'm. It's funny. I'm saying it as a joke, but I'm not kidding. You know, like, like I really do. Like, I listen. I, I get up. Like, I was feeling, you know, like I, I, I was, okay. Every time this is what you guys. So I want you guys to pay attention. to This is very important. Every time you try to go to another level, one of my, one of my, I, I was doing a mastermind, and one of my students said, "At every level, there's another devil." Right, so every time you try to go, you're gonna come up with mm-hmm. resistance. You're gonna have to fight. You're gonna have failures on your way there. You're gonna fall. You know, it's not. You're not just gonna. Uh, you can't. You can't stroll to your goal. You can't stroll to your goal. It's gonna be a struggle. And like yeah, unless you just stay at that level. So, you know, me, I'm always trying to. All right, bam, here. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go further. I'm trying to go. And you know, I stumble. I got fall, but you crazy. You gotta. You yeah, You gotta keep going, man. And like I, I put on gangster, gangster rap music and for whatever reason. That resonates. It might not help you. It might not help this guy. I don't know. That right, I can only right, speak right. for myself. It gets that shit gets me going. Mm. That's really interesting, man. What do you State do? Control stuff. I visualize, dude. Yeah. Like, so what I've been doing now, I want to talk to, to you about this too. As so, what I used to do is I would wake up, I would grab my iPhone and start checking my messages, mm. right? Or I would go on the computer, do all my stats for for Doctor Stostro, yeah. like my stats that I do every day. You know, because I don't trust all the, the all that sh- internet shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I do it myself. Oh, really? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do it myself, right? Nerdy shit. It's JetBlue, but uh, my flight's not for. Uh, my flight's at eight. It's whatever. I we, we, I want to get this done. This is important. I got time though. I you know, I got time. I, I'm not checking. Cool, cool. Bags, well, whatever. we we can we can chill at the airport. Whatever. Yeah, whatever you guys. Grab do. a coffee or something. Yeah, 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 it's cool, man. Um, uh, oh yeah. So so what I so now what I do mm-hmm. is instead of waking up and checking my phone and shit. I sit there and I write down my goals that are here, mm-hmm. right? So it's not like five-year goal, 10-year goal. Whatever comes to me, I write down. And now that I've started doing that, as soon as I wake up, I always have one idea. Yeah. One idea comes to me. And I'm thinking it's probably because I fucking dreamt it. Yeah. I've oh, been you dreaming that night? about you, shit. You said you write that at night? No, I don't. But the reason oh. I have it in the morning... I think it's because thinking. I've been dreaming about it. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this is the idea for today. Not bad. Cool. Nice. Let me write it down. Then I write it down. Then I close my eyes and I imagine this happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And once you've been there, it's like you got to, yeah, the, you, uh, without even getting woo woo, you know, the whole visualization stuff that studies it. Like, you know, oh, I, yeah, dude, st- they, they've done a study where they they had basketball players. Yeah. Not do, that. yeah, you know that. Yeah. yeah no, they're them though. Tell yeah, yeah. So basketball players, they had them just take free throws. Without actually taking free throws, so just visualize taking free throws, and then they had another group that actually took free throws, twenty minutes yeah. for weeks, and they found that it was the same improvement. Wow, that's amazing. Because your because your brain doesn't know the difference between imagination and the actual happening of the yeah. event. Uh, the the neurons are the same. But don't. Right? But you still gotta act, right? You still gotta like. You still gotta. Like, I, I don't. I don't. Don't be delusional and think you're gonna. Like that's why because you can't visualize everything. Yeah, you might be able to visualize a free throw. You're not going to be able to visualize the entire game and react yeah, to people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You got to have like reference experience. You that's know, like it. some some things that are only going to come from experience. Like uh, like a pickup. Like like I know it's like yeah. probably like if you you oh this happens or right, I know why this happened. I need to do this right. You you can't just visualize that stuff. You gotta you gotta you gotta learn. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta learn the techniques or whatever it is. You know, business. Oh, when this happens, uh, you know, there's sales. When, oh, when they raise this objection, I have to do this. You know, whatever yeah. it is. You know. And then another really important thing for me has been being in an abundance mentality. Okay. Right. So when we were in immersion, I had a scarcity mentality. Mm. The reason was because I wanted. I thought being scarce allowed you to win because then you need to win. Mm. Right. But that need to win yeah. is not always great. You know what it does? It's like, it's, yeah, it's like uh, neediness. It makes you like, you don't want to do business with someone who needs. That's it. Right? That's it. But, okay, I I, 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 I agree with you, man, but I don't, I, I think I'm, I'm I'm just a pessimist, man. I always think, mm. you know, I, 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 I never feel like, I'm, I, I do feel, you know, 
uh, they done. You ever read Think Fast and Slow? Yeah. They, yeah. They, 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 talk, yeah. they talked about you know uh, you know people who, who do more to avoid loss than they will to Absolutely. you know like they'll Absolutely. do way more. So yeah. I kind of just think like man, if I don't. If you're not growing, you're dying, and I I, I kind of just always keep that in my mind. You know, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. Um, you know, money, mm. money. You know, it does just because you got money don't mean you're gonna keep getting it. No. You know, this. Uh, I think passive income is kind of like a myth, right? Like you know, like uh, you still got to do something. This this passive for more pad, but like if anything, I don't know. You gotta you gotta keep going, man. And I and I don't know. I think my, I saw my dad fuck up a, a good amount of money, and maybe that's and. and Gotcha. I don't. Even, I don't even think it's maybe. It's probably. Uh, I'm pretty confident that that's affected me. That carries on. Yeah. yeah so as you live. But it gets me up, man. It gets me up. Oh, you know what else I do? Mm. Think about. The, I think it, like when like uh, when people like leave a comment about me or talk shit about me. I, I yeah. love that shit up. I don't love it. It's like, <laughs> it like gets me going, man. It's like oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. That, I mean that. Sometimes. Gary V. Gary V. Is like that too. Oh, really? Yeah. He reads his negative reviews four or five times. I keep I have I I I, I save them mm. I save them I, I like I'll take a screenshot yeah. you know like, I have yeah. my one of my assistants at Strength Camp uh, he's in Latvia now I had him go through all my YouTube and get the the worst possible negative comments and yeah. put them like all screenshots and then I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about yeah it. yeah 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 do save, you know you know but at the same time I I know who did that why they did that like mm. when I say who I mean like the kind of person who goes around the internet talking shit you know Definitely. it's not like. It's not Jay Z, right? It's not like a, a cool ass motherfucker who's winning. I don't think Jay Z like does a, a million dollar business deal. Uh, does then does a sold out concert, you know? Then fucks Beyonce and say, man, this would be a good day if I can just leave some <laughs> troll, <laughs> if I can just troll, troll, shit. It, troll doc, the trash, the doc, testosterone videos for a few hours. You know, it's, it's not that guy, right? <laughs> happy, successful, happy, confident people don't behave like that. No. So. Uh, that doesn't it's not it's not see that so that so knowing that that doesn't give me the effect it's got to be like somebody who's hurt me right mm. somebody who, who i who i trusted who betrayed me or you know people there's been people who done shady shit to me in business you know like it, that kind of thing and it, man it just that fires me up and maybe because i come from aggressive background but that fires me. I gets me going. And maybe a competition competition does something for testosterone right yeah oh hell yeah yeah so hell it yeah. gets me going man the man. competition even if you watch it you just Even have to if you watch, watch it. it. I heard that. So I read a study that watching your favorite team lose lowers your testosterone. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because you feel like you lost. Significant, like twenty six percent, dude. Yo, that's it's why. Insane. I remember. Okay, so like last year, uh, I didn't watch TV for three months after uh, because the Bulls. Yeah, you told me. And I like, and I, yeah, they, they lost, and I put oh, my head. Oh shit! My girl came in the room, she and she saw me in my head, and she's like. Pull yourself together. What the? Because <laughs> you feel like you lost, man. I, I mean, like I'm. I was like, why can't they just win? I remember, like, I had a tear in my eye. Why? Why can't they just win? I'm too emotionally invested. So, like, I stopped watching the Bulls. Stopped watching the Chicago Bears. Mm. I'm just like, uh, I only watch. Sports Hawks at, are good. The Hawks good. Atlanta Hawks? No. Sure. Black oh, Hawks. the Blackhawks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe you know, black people don't. I don't. Are we allowed to watch hockey? <laughs> <laughs> But yo, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't watch my. I can't. So I, knowing that it affects me emotionally, but I also know it fucks with my testosterone. I'm not. I'm not letting you watch. I'm about winning. I'm about victory. I'm serious about victory. I'm serious dude, about it, man. Dude, yeah, we're winning every day, man. Winning every day. And you know what? The words we use are really important. I learned that recently from Psycho Cybernetics. Uh, Oh yeah, it's like yeah, and then yeah. not not only that, uh, Kennedy talks about it all the time, mm -hmm. right? The, oh, the, the new wealth attraction stuff, Google, yeah. Man. Because the words you use, if you're using scarcity words, the, the fucking thing is listening to that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's I gonna don't, make you scarce. I don't. I, I don't think I, I use scarcity. I, 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 no, you I, don't. You I, don't. I, 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 but I am aware uh -huh. that that life ain't easy. Oh man, and it's compet it's competitive out here, and you know this shit ain't fair. And it's, it's not it's not all motherfucking rainbows and lollipops. It's harsh, man. It's harsh. It's harsh. Like it's harsh. I'm aware of it. And maybe because I've experienced the harsher side of life. And maybe a lot of like when guys ask me, how you stay motivated? It's like ah, you, you just probably haven't seen you haven't probably seen the lows, man. You just probably haven't seen enough lows to understand that this shit is serious. Like if when you when if you're fucking 
kitchen catches on fire, you understand that, oh, maybe I should have a, a fire extinguisher in the kitchen, right? Right. And, right. But if, you, if that right. never happens, it might not be important to you, right? right? You might not understand the severity of the issue, right? right. So it's relative. It's relative, man. I, I think I understand you. the severity. And so I don't. I don't think, but I don't think abundance. And maybe I, maybe I should fix it. Maybe I don't know. I, I think, yo, this shit. I, I come from a perspective like no amount of money will keep me secure. Yeah. But any amount of like money, Buffett. Buffett has a twenty billion dollar, uh, yeah. poly, you know what? What do you call it? Uh, security. Fund. Uh, yeah, security. But it's like a rainy day. Rainy, rainy day. day. Twenty rainy bill. Day. Rainy day. He's got twenty bill. I have a rainy. I have. A, I have a rainy day. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like all shades of fan. I'm good. I'm like I'm good for like good. a year. Cool. Like I stay, I, like no lifestyle change, right? And but that's that comes from almost paranoia, almost paranoia. But not not paranoia, like not defensive though. Okay. Off, offensive pessimist. <laughs> that's a term I just I just made up, and I think it's brilliant. I like that shit, I'm dude. I like that pessimist. shit. That's like, like a title of a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that might up. Uh, Hey man, you might cause just wouldn't. I, cause I don't, I, yeah. I don't, I don't like. I'm not scarcity. It's not scarcity like this. I'm like, yo man, shit ain't sweet out here. It's real. So, You're yeah, real. shit is real You're out here. Real shit. Shit is real out here. Shit, shit. <laughs> I think, uh, I think, I think it was a great American poet Havoc from Mob Deep. I think he said, "We live in this to the day that we die. Survival of the fittest. Only the strong survive." <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it was love crazy. eloquent. It's uh, I, it, I just gotta win, yeah. man. I just gotta win. I got you. I, I want to be. You. I don't feel good when I'm a loser, man. I got you. It's time for the rapid fire. All right, it's the final part of it. I like. You I, ready? Like the, I like the title too. Yeah. All right. So rapid fire. I give you one word, and you say the first thing that comes to your head. Nice. The first thing. It could be a sentence. It could be three words, two sentences, but don't make it more than two. Okay. Ready? Yeah. How's the light, by the way, dude? How's the light on this? It's still okay. If you want, I can give you my iPhone to shine light. Okay. Uh, healthy food. Subjective. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fair. That's fair. What's healthy for you might not be healthy for me. No, I, no, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Mm-hmm. Favorite exercise. Walking. I like walking a lot now. Like I, 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 I do walk. Like for my mind. Like I, I clear my mind. You know. Like I, I get good ideas when I walk. I, I, I walk a lot, man. That's I cool. Walk like an hour a day, man. That's it's, really cool. Yeah. Like I like walking, man. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Testosterone. Everything, right? I feel like everything, man. It's, it's everything, right? Like, if as a man, as a man, like we gotta go out and get shit, man. We gotta go out and do shit. Like, I mean, there's women who who do this too, but like, I don't think we're they're expected. To, a woman's not expected to be strong, mm. right? Like, you go, you hold a, you hold the, we hold the doors open for women. We carry shit right. for women, you know. A, a man's expected to carry his own weight. Yeah. Right, like it's just expected. So, like, it's not in because there, there are physical differences between the, the se- sexes, right? And 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 there's women who go out and, and boss ass women who go out and do shit, but it's not expected. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we expect men to go out and 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 do shit, make some of themselves conquer. Like a woman, she can she can if she chooses to. Like, I'm not trying to be sexist, but I, like just boss ass girls too. But like, you could just be pretty. And that's cool. Like, you could just take care of the house. And that's fine, hmm. you know. But, you know, a man, we're not really expected to do that, you know. Like, a, a stay... You can be a stay-at-home man, but do you want to be? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would... You know, like, we're expected to go out. And you need... I think you need a certain level of aggression to go out and conquer... I think a lot of the self... Development shit is bullshit in the world. Like, in, like, like they have to dumb shit down to make it more palatable to the masses. But the boss ass motherfuckers who are going out and get making shit happen. Think about when I mean, you read about Steve Jobs. Mm. I mean, he's aggressive, man. You Fuck yeah. like aggressive. You, you in, but he, but Apple, Apple's one of the the most profitable companies of all time, right? Like uh, Amazon, uh, Jeff Bezos, 
is aggressive. They're both they're both ball, by the way. I don't think that's a coincidence. They're aggressive, man. Like yo, know, Jordan. When I I've read, I've read Relentless. I've listened to the, I've listened to audio book maybe hmm. thirty times. Wow. I love it. I love it because it. I feel like it's the only person in book where it's like it's real, man. Shit is. Wow. You got to be aggressive to really fucking get to really to really do something exceptional. You got to be aggressive, and I don't, that doesn't mean you gotta hurt people or be a dick. And, but if it's called for, it's called for. Nice. I'd kill a motherfucker under the right circumstances, man. Like in, in like, like no bullshit. Like if, under the right circumstances, if he was fucking impeding me from my progress, then I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as a declaration of war, right? Like it's, then now, how my I'm, I'm, I've been in a situation where I woke up and I couldn't, I didn't know how I was gonna eat that day, right? And it's scary. I don't want no one in my family to ever feel that way. So if someone's fucking impeding my progress, like like fucking killing him and his whole motherfucking family is not off the table. It's like an option that I will consider legitimately. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I mean, you know, that's maybe that's bad, but I mean No, it's not I think I, I think you're just real. Yeah. You're just I'm, being I'm serious real. about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think that Steve Jobs, like under the right circumstances, he'd kill anybody who got in his oh, way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and, and he probably did. <laughs> Or he definitely killed their careers. He definitely killed people's careers. He definitely fucking destroyed people financially and their career. Like, he he definitely did, you know. And I'm not saying you got to be out there, but know that there are situations where that is applicable, I think. All this enjoy the process shit is not really, like, my shit, you know. Like, maybe that resonates with some people, Hmm. but... Not me, man. Like I, I mean, I, I, I enjoy what I do, but I'm, I don't care if I enjoy it or not. I'm about, I'm about success. I'm about winning, Coach and you. I don't give a fuck if I like it or not. I'm gonna do what's necessary to win, and wow. I think that's just different than. I think that's the real deal about success. Fuck what you heard. Fuck what you read. You know. Fuck what these, what these chos tried to tell you, man. Fuck what your mama told you. Fuck what these new age teachers is telling you. Like, like, go. You gotta go for yours, man. You gotta fucking go for yours. I'll fucking. You gotta go. You gotta kick in the door, two guns up, shoot everything that moves. Boom, <laughs> boom, dude. Yeah, dude. It was tight, man. Oh, this man, was thank so you, man. tight. Man. I, so I enjoyed tight. this, man. I really like. So I, tight. You know, it's good. It's always great talking to you, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, guys. You're, you're smart as fuck. You know, I appreciate. You. Listen, man. This mm-hmm. was one of the best oh, masterminds, <laughs> not just for this series, but I've ever done. Fantastic, dude. Thank Fantastic. You so much, man. Not just, th- not, dude. Thanks for the knowledge, but also thanks for being so genuine, man. Oh, no problem. So man. genuine. You're not gonna get this shit anywhere else. Nah, nah. I, I dare him, you to find this. I shit. gave him. I gave some content, man. They sh- I'm telling me, I gave you some fucking <laughs> Don't share this shit. Then I ain't telling nobody, man. All right, thanks again, man. No problem. Thanks man. again. Awesome. So, guys, this is Dr. Testosterone, and see you in the next mastermind. Peace.